coming up on a go for auto sequence start in 10 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 22 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 10 seconds. We have a go for main engine start. Six, four, three, two, one. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery lighting up the nighttime sky as we continue building the International Space Station. Last week is Discovery rolling on course for a rendezvous with the International Space Station. Speed of 1,000 miles an hour, altitude one mile. Downrange four and a half miles from Kennedy Space and already. Three good engines startling back to two thirds of the rate of thrust. Passing the air of maximum dynamic pressure. About to go supersonic. There's a view from the external tank camera. Discovery Houston. Go and throttle up. Go and throttle up. All systems remain in go for discovery. Altitude 8 miles. Speed 1700 miles an hour. Downrange 10 miles from Kennedy Space Center. since launch. Discovery already consumed more than two and a quarter million pounds for propellant. It now weighs less than half that it did at liftoff. Altitude 18 miles. Speed 3,000 miles an hour. Already 22 miles northeast of Kennedy Space Center. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Boost drops are confirmed. Clean separation of the two solid rockets. Discovery's three engines now powering the second stage. Discovery's orbital maneuvering system engines firing now to assist the climb into orbit. They'll fire for about a minute and 37 seconds. Discovery Houston, two engine Maroon. Two engine Maroon. That call means Discovery can perform a transatlantic oceanic land landing at Maroon, Spain, if required. Three good engines, three good auxiliary power units, three good fuel cells. Speed now, 4,500 miles an hour, altitude 45 miles, downrange 78 miles from Kennedy Space Center. And Discovery Houston, Billy, we see a nominal shutdown plan. Copy, nominal shutdown plan, thanks. About a minute to main engine cutoff. Normal shutdown planned. Speed, 14,000 miles an hour. Altitude 64 miles, downrange 643 miles. Continue to watch live downlink television pictures from an external tank camera. Standing by for main engine cutoff.
Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. External tank separation confirmed. Special Discovery now on orbit on its own. Discovery Houston, we saw a nominal MECO. Ohms 1 is not required, and we just watched some great video you get off the tank. Discovery Houston, on at the 90. On at the 90. A very smooth roll around the heading alignment circle, uh, 90 degrees before uh, Commander Mark Polanski lines up with the runway. Altitude, 15,000 feet. Houston, Discovery, we have the field in sight. minute and a half from landing. Altitude 11,300 feet. Altitude 6,000 feet. The altitude on the head up display on the right, 1,800 feet. beginning to uh, pre-flare, uh, setting up for uh, deployment of the landing gear at 300 feet. Landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Touchdown. Discovery is rolling out at sunset on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 204 orbits, traveling 5.3 million miles. Discovery completing its 33rd mission and its seventh to the International Space Station. Discovery, you have a uh, building full of thrill folks back here in Florida, uh, Houston. Had a thrill to have you in Florida. Roman, to uh, you and your crew, and for L.A., uh, you and your crew, when you get a chance to see this tape, congratulations on uh, what was probably the most complex uh, assembly mission to date. Bravo Zulu. Thanks for the words. you got seven thrilled people right here, and uh, we're just really proud of the entire NASA team to put this together. So thank you, and I think it's going to be a great holiday. You betcha. We obviously have no post-landing deltas for you. We'll meet you on 5-3.